So for this tutorial I'm using a yarn I had uh, from Red Heart Soft and a 5 millimeter crochet hook this uh, this is only for demonstration it's not for an actual project so I'll show you uh, how to achieve to easily achieve achieve the stitch so if you want to see the rest stay tuned so as always we're starting with the magic loop I'm chaining a pair number for the demonstration but anyway for the actual project you need to have a pair number of uh, or a multiple of two so I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and the first row is very simple. I'm gonna do a normal double crochet on the third chain from the hook. I'll yarn over, insert my hook into the loop and work my double crochet. And this is my last chain. Okay, now on to the next row, I'll chain only one. And what we're gonna do, if you're familiar with the front post double crochet and back post double crochet you will know also if you've done basket weave uh, stitch before you will know what i'm talking about and you know uh, it is easier than the basket weave stitch so now skip this one which is the chain three or the last double crochet we're gonna work with this one so i'm gonna do a front post double crochet yarn over insert my hook in between this double crochet and this one bring my hook behind the second double crochet and work my double crochet I hope it's simple so far so the front postage is completed now this one the next one I'm gonna work a back post double crochet so the previous one I put my hook behind the stitch now I'm gonna yarn over and bring my hook behind here and put it in front of that double crochet and work my double crochet so this is the back post front post again onto the next one my hook is behind the double crochet working my next double crochet now a back post yarn over my hook is in front of that double crochet working my next double crochet again front yarn over so the stitch is in front back so the stitch is at the back
front back very easy you go slowly and you follow the video and you'll be able to achieve it is very easy and then here in the space oops before the space we have a last one to work which is front okay and then one single crochet in between the space this one one single crochet oops okay and we have completed the second row now i'm gonna chain one okay so what you see now <coughs> now this is the previous one it was the front post and this was the back post now it's showing as the front post so what we need to do is the opposite of this so this is a back post showing here i'm gonna do a front post so i have chained one now i'm gonna yarn over this shows the back post i'm gonna make it now front post over here i'll insert my hook bring it to the front and work my double crochet so this is now the front i'm gonna bring it to the back now this is the back i'm gonna bring it to the front So this is the front, I'm going to bring it to the back and so on till the end. So in each row, we need to do the opposite of the previous row. Okay, front, back. front and back and the last one will be the front again yarn over okay and work my last double crochet and again a single crochet and chain one so this is how you achieve it very easy to do very easy if you follow step by step and the result at the end is very pretty and beautiful i hope this uh, tutorial was easy to follow let me know in the description box and until next time take care bye bye